Be still. Be still and know that I am God. Sometimes life just doesn't go the way we'd like. Our high hopes can end in disappointment for no explicable reason. Weathering storms like these wouldn't be so bad if others weren't watching, but they are. And sometimes they ask you questions, questions you honestly can't answer, like, what are you going to do? You don't know what to do. That's the problem. All of your doing has gotten you nowhere. Not even your old hookups or contacts can come through for you in this situation. Worst of all, it seems mama's intercessory prayers are slow to produce any results. And she was pretty much your last resort and your last hope to understanding this season in your life. When your plans, hopes, dreams, and desires all get frustrated or stuck in the blessing pipeline, just be still. You can't do anything but be still anyway in situations where you have run out of your human resources, natural energy, and good ideas. It means that God is trying to get your personal attention and is about to visit your life in new and unexpected ways. But you must first clear the way for him to move. You must release your plans and vision for your life in order to truly receive God's perfect will. Some of you are experiencing Pax Romana in your lives where everything is everything. The job is fine. Boyfriend is still hanging around. Got a little money in your pocket. No, it's problema. However, life has a way of throwing you curveballs you won't believe at moments you totally don't expect them. Maybe it is a devil, or maybe it's God's way of shaking you from your complacency. The only way to truly find out is to pray and seek. This is what it boils down to. Many of us get inconsistent in our prayer lives and communion with God when things go as planned. Therefore, God often uses difficult times as a way to bring us to our knees and put us back on track in our spiritual walk with him, not to destroy, humiliate, or punish us. When it seems everything you've worked for is crumbling one area at a time, money, relationships, sudden job loss, church position, church position or activity, just be still. Don't get upset, depressed, or kick uselessly against the pricks. Just get still before the Lord and do more listening than complaining or even praying. Sometimes silent communion is the best medicine for soul sickness. Be encouraged to know that you are not crazy and that you are not alone in this process to develop patience and dependence on the Lord. Because surrendering in this way is new for us, it can also be isolating and confusing. Be encouraged by the words in Isaiah forty-three eighteen through 19. The Lord says, forget what happened before and do not think about the past. Look at the new thing I'm going to do. It is already happening. Don't you see it? I will make a road in the desert and rivers in the dry land. Be inspired. Faith is to believe what we do not see, and the reward of this faith is to see what we believe. Let's dig a little deeper. Go ahead and get paper, pen, or a pencil and answer these questions about the previous message openly and honestly. Remember, no one is reading your answers but you. Before anything can be healed, it must be revealed. Pray to God for guidance, for healing, and you will receive it. Okay, let's answer questions based on the previous lesson, Be Still. Number one, why is it so difficult to surrender our problems to God instead of trying to fix them ourselves? Number two, describe the time when you were at the end of your rope about a situation, but then everything worked out fine. What did you learn after having gone through this situation? Consider this. Many times when things seem not to go our way, we fall into depression, 
a low point in our lives when we just don't have the energy to keep trying to make a bad situation better. Question number three, what happened during your low point? How did you feel? Number four, how did you finally get past depression to get back on track again? Number five, what personal experience can you share about what happens when you get still and allow God to work things out? <music> 